Welcome back to the garage. Today, I want to do something fun. I want to get the grill and the hood put on the Jeep. So I need to, I want to stencil on the numbers at the same time uh, before we put them on the Jeep. I think it'll just be easier to do it on saw horses. I've still got a lot of mechanical stuff to do, but every now and then I find it's nice to take a break from the mechanical stuff and do something cosmetic because it just brings the Jeep to life and it just it brings it that much more closer to being ready. And it really gets me excited about the whole project. So let's get into it. Let's get the grill mounted and let's get the numbers painted on the hood and uh, let's have some fun today. Okay, so I wanna build the tool that uh, some of the G503 guys have built to install rivets, uh, to do like welting and stuff on the grill. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cheap set of Harbor Freight vice grips. We're gonna grind this side off smooth so that it doesn't scratch the paint on the outside. And then I need to make a little block that'll weld in here. And that block will be the key to what bends the rivets open and curls them back around. I'm gonna be cutting out my block. This is some quarter inch, uh, I think two inch flat stock. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a little block there and then that'll be what we grind up and weld on. And we'll see how this comes out. Here's our little piece we're gonna make this out of. Now, I guess there's probably some better options to get some um, bar stock to make this out of, but this is what we're gonna do. And so that's just gonna weld on right there. So now I just need to, I wanna kinda of grind out this shape like I've seen the other guys do it first. That way if I screw up, I haven't already welded it on here. So let me try to figure out how I'm gonna put this in the vise to grind out those two uh, U's in there. Okay, so I got that cut a little bit deeper. Looks like it's gonna work. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this magnet to hold this in place. And let's go ahead and weld this to the, to the pliers so they stay, and then we'll grind off the other side smooth and be ready to try this out to install some of that welting and try some of those rivets. We're putting the welting around the top of the grill and this is where the hood's gonna rest. So the first step to getting these rivets in is to use an awl and punch a hole through that welting. Kind of open it up so the rivet can go in. And now I'm gonna put the rivet through that hole. And then I used a screwdriver just to kind of get the initial uh, uh, legs of the rivet spread open and get it started for that tool. And now we'll bring in this tool we used and you kind of have to fiddle with it and adjust the vice grip uh, setting to get it to crush fully and get it to crush tight. And it wasn't, it actually ended up not being a bad idea to do it in two stages anyway. Kind of leave the vice grips a little bit loose, get it started, and then give it one last tight one in there. And I put a little extra duct tape around the smooth end of the jaw to keep it from scratching the top of the rivets. And with that, we've got a nice tight crimped rivet that looks really good with the factory curl. So that tool worked out really good. And then in this uh, area here, it was a little bit tighter and ended up just kind of having to manually bend it over with pliers. I couldn't get that tool to work and no sense making another tool for four rivets. Okay, so we got the grill welting in and now it's time for the felt shrouding. And this is gonna seal the grill to the radiator so that the fan is pulling in constant airflow. On the, so we're using these 
staples again, just like the fuel tank straps. But on the fuel tank straps, the staples went through the metal first and then the welting second. But here, it looks like they're supposed to go through the felt first and then through the metal. So that's kind of difficult because this felt is very thick and I'm not sure exactly how to line that up. So I guess we'll do a couple and experiment with it and see what we got. But uh, this looks like it's going to be a, a lot more difficult than anything we've done before. So let's see what we got. For these staples, I found that drilling the hole backwards and into the felt kind of opened it up enough that I could use the staple to uh, find the hole in the felt and then fish it through that hole in the metal. And then I just used some regular pliers to bend the legs over and that worked out sufficiently. And with that, the grill is installed. Let's move on to the hood. I cut out the stencils using a silhouette sticker cutter and it's just in endless roll mode. The material is Oracle 813. It's a stencil vinyl that worked out really good. And this stencil material is just a very simple peel and stick product. And then I just masked off the rest of the hood around the stencil. There I tested it on the masking first just to make sure I wasn't going to get any goobers coming out of a brand new can of paint. And then I just put on a real light coat and just enough to get some coverage. I didn't want to get any runs. And so just three light coats and uh, ended up giving me really good coverage and the numbers came out really bright and clear. I peeled up the masking while the paint was still a little bit tacky so that I wouldn't chip it and let it dry up enough so that it wasn't still running wet. But I still had to be very careful because the masking still had wet enough paint that it could mark the uh, hood. And I did have some trouble with the stencil wanting to tear on some of the sharp corners. Okay, now the moment of truth. Get the hood up there and get a few bolts started. The hinge is slotted so that there is a little bit of adjustment left and right. And so I'll get a couple bolts started and then I went ahead and made sure I had it lined up so that it had even gap on both sides of the grill. And then we tighten down the rest of the bolts and I add in the grounding bond straps. Well, there we go. We got the hood mounted. We got the grill on. I think the numbers look super cool. So these numbers are the numbers that we found on the hood when we sanded it down. Uh, checking with the paperwork, these numbers are consistent for a late war Jeep. This Jeep entered service in July 11th, 1945, and it was stationed down in Pocatello, Idaho at the Naval Ordnance Base. 
where they rebuilt battleship cannons and stuff like that. So this gets me super excited about the Jeep. Now it's starting to look like a Jeep with the iconic grill, the hood, the military numbers. And this really gets me excited to dive back into some of the mechanical stuff. I've got to get the brakes plumbed up and I've got to get a 12 volt alternator conversion going. I've got to wire it up. So still a lot of work to do, but this really gets me excited. Thanks for hanging out in the garage today. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so that you don't miss all that upcoming uh, work we're going to do to this. Plus, I've got a lot of other exciting projects going on uh, with the boat and my 74 F-250 and flying and who knows what else is going to come up. So uh, thanks for hanging out in the garage. So thanks for watching.